A major international human trafficking operation with ties to Minnesota has been busted. Ramsey and Washington County attorneys announced the arrest of four people connected to the enterprise that placed thousands of ads for sexual services in 29 states over the past two years. The operation originated in California. Investigators say those in charge also purchased or rented properties in Oakdale, St. Paul, Blaine, Maplewood, and St. Louis Park to sell sex. WCCO's Reg Chapman joins us with more. Pretty disturbing, Reg. Really is, Liz. This was a multi-agency investigation that uncovered, uncovered vulnerable women who were in a sense trapped in a foreign country and sold for sex. The four people charged in Minnesota and California face serious charges to include racketeering and sex trafficking. Investigators tracked thousands of ads placed on Backpage for sex. Their probe led to numerous victims. Six named in the complaint were working in Minnesota. The victims in this scheme were brutalized, frequently assaulted, raped, and robbed by customers, forced to work 12 to 14 hours per day, and forced to bring in a quota of at least $800 per day for their traffickers. Victims were treated like property and forced to pay their traffickers house fees and transportation costs. They also had to pay for their own food. They put big investments in here. They bought real estate for the, only for the use of sex trafficking. The sex ring was discovered after an informant led a Minneapolis police sex crimes detective to an apartment being used for sex. From there, detectives followed their ads to find other properties used for human sex trafficking. There's a townhouse in Cottage Grove that was bought and paid for with cash, and when the police entered, they saw two beds. That's it. But they also saw a line of guys waiting on a couch waiting for their turn. The only Minnesotan charge in this case is 28-year-old Dong Zhou Zhang of Blaine. Court documents say he was a regional boss who took the women to different places throughout the Twin Cities to have sex for money. Now, Backpage.com did shut down its escort section, but officials say now traffickers are moving their ads to other sections of Backpage. The investigation into this international human trafficking business is ongoing. Officials say the only way to stop this activity, Liz, is for men to stop responding to these ads. All right, Reg. Thank you.